بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أما بعد Usually we have the class dealing with the explanation of the introduction to Thalato Usku But today we will go on to another topic And it will be dealing with Ramadan And the reason why I chose to go over Ramadan this time is because Alhamdulillah, Ramadan is fastly approaching us. We're about two weeks away from the blessed month of Ramadan, and I wanted to bring some benefit regarding this month. Given that to Allah, coming from a khutbah, which was given by our beloved Sheikh Alama Sheikh Sali Al Uthaymin, Rahimahullah Ta'ala. And this is not the whole khutbah that the Sheikh gave, I just took some parts out of the Sheikh's khutbah to bring some benefit. The Shaykh is, he goes on and he starts off with Khutbah al Hajjah. The Shaykh says, O mankind, fear Allah Ta'ala, and know, indeed Allah created you to worship Him. As Allah Ta'ala, Allah Azzawajal says in His book, I have not created the jinn nor mankind except to worship me. So to that yet, ayat 56. Then Allah also says, I do not want from you a risk provision, nor do I want you to feed me. Nor do I want you to feed me. So said that yet, ayat 57. Allah also says, Indeed, Allah is the provider, and He is the possessor of great strength or might. So said that yet, ayat 58. Indeed, the path between you and Allah is His worship. The path between us and Allah is His worship. Whoever of you reaches this season, referring back, referring to Ramadan, whoever of you reaches this season, let him do a lot of good. And upon you for the coming of this month, and upon you for the coming of this month, that you value it, and that you do much good. And that you get, and that you will get great reward for the good that you do. And may Allah have mercy upon you. So he said, you value this month, and you do a plenty of good. And with the plenty of this good, you will get great rewards. The shit goes on to say, and he says, during this season, and when he says this season, he's referring to the month of Ramadan, because it comes around once a, once a year. During this season, you value the truth. You value doing good deeds. Of obedience and worship, staying away from disobedience, disobedience, and staying away from the things that will cause you punishment. Indeed, Allah has never made this season except to take away the evil. That indeed Allah made this Ramadan to take away the evil and to increase you in good and raise you in levels. O mankind, indeed. From one of the greatest things of this month is that the people excel, that they better themselves, and they and they take the opportunity with this with obedience of Allah. And this is a noble month. Allah said, the month of Ramadan, which the Quran was sent down, so to Baqarah, ayah 185, the month of good and blessings and mercy. This month is the month of good, the month of blessings, and the month of mercy. This is the month in which one does good deeds. So indeed, the month. So indeed, this month weakens the sins and strengthens the good deeds. Allah has made fasting during this during the daytime wajib upon the people, and made standing up in qiyam al-layl a complete form of obedience. Whoever fasts Ramadan with iman and contemplation, in anticipation, excuse me. Whoever whoever fasts the month of Ramadan with iman and and, and contemplation, Allah will forgive you your past sins. Whoever stands for qiyam walayl with iman and anticipation, Allah will forgive him for his past sins. And may Allah make us all of those who fast. In Mikkiyam Walayl with Iman and in, in, uh, in contemplation. And she goes and says, He says, And whoever, whoever 
reaches Ramadan and at the same time he makes the Umrah is it, it is as if he is making Hajj with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and during Ramadan the doors of Jannah are open a lot of obedience for the people of Iman and the gates of Jahannam the hellfire is closed disobedience is done away with from the people of good and the shayateen are locked up and the people of Iman are safe from them like they, was not, was, like they were not safe before in other months O mankind Ramadan when the moon is sighted do not fast a day or two days before Ramadan because the Prophet said do not fast a day or two days before Ramadan except except when one is, is regularly fasting regularly fasting throughout the month then it will be okay for him so if the people regularly fast and she's going to explain what he means when he said regularly fasting then it's okay he says so if the people will regularly fast on Mondays and that Monday so hap happened to come a come around a day or two before Ramadan if there's no difficulty upon him then it's upon him to fast if that's what he's used to doing if that's something that he does on a regular basis if a day or two if he if a Monday or a Thursday comes and it's a day or two before Ramadan if it's not a difficulty upon him it's okay for him to fast that day and like the one who fasts three days in a month so if it's if it's not possible for him to fast except during the end of Sha'ban so if it ain't no difficulty upon him then it's okay for him to fast so Sheikh explained it to us that if we regularly fast Mondays or Thursdays or we fast the three days of the month and them days that we usually fast comes during the end of Sha'ban then it's okay for us to fast on days if that's something that we regularly do and Sheikh goes on to say and he says do not fast the days of the days of doubt and the days of doubt is the 30th of Sha'ban when that night comes meaning the 30th of Sha'ban the 30th of night and as we know in the Islamic calendar the 30th the night comes before the day so when the 30th of night comes and the moon is not seen through the gloom from the gloom and the fog of the clouds so in that so uh in this hall. So in the Sahih of Bukhari from the Hadith of Abdullah ibn Umar that he said indeed the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said do not fast until you see it so indeed so indeed the gloom is upon you if the gloom is upon you meaning it's cloudy then complete 30 days and from the Hadith of Abu Huraira that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said when the sky when the sky is cloudy complete 30 days Ammar ibn Yasser said whoever fasts in which there is doubt has indeed disobeyed Abu Qasim and whoever from among, whoever from and whoever from the, the head of the government those who are in charge of sighting the moon see the moon with certainty then spread the news then spread the news of it and do not hide it and when it is announced on the radio of Saudi Arabia that it is proven that it's Ramadan then fast and when it is announced that it is proven that it is proven it is Shawal then break your fast because the announcement because this announcement is done by the head of the government by the head of the government and it is, wis and it is wisdom in that a Bedouin came to the Prophet and told him he had seen the moon so the Prophet said to him have you made the Shahada have you said La Ashadu Alla Ilaha Illallah Ashadu Anna Muhammad Rasulullah? The better one said yes. So the Prophet said, told Bilal that you to announce to announce it and that you will fast tomorrow. Fasting the month of Ramadan is is one of the pillars of Islam. Allah made it wajib, obligatory upon His worshippers. Whoever whoever the what the obligation of fasting is unknown. Or he negates it, or he negates it. The Prophet Sallallahu said, "Indeed, the choice of fasting or not fasting is just like it's just like the one who, the expiation of sins and the one who apostates, because it is, diso it is disobedience to Allah and His Messenger. 
in the consensus of the Muslims. Allah Ta'ala says, O you who believe, fasting has been, been, has been prescribed for you, just as it was for those who before you, so that you may achieve a taqwa. Surah Baqarah, Ayat 183. Allah also says, The month of Ramadan in which was revealed the Quran, a guidance for mankind, and a clear proof for guidance, and a criterion, the difference between right, right and wrong, so whoever of you, cites the moon, has fast, should fast. Fasting, fasting is wider upon every Muslim who is of age and sound mind, sound mind and able, and he must be a resident, male or female. Fasting is obligatory upon everybody. So whoever is of age, whoever is of sound mind and ability, and he's a resident, and he's male or female, he has to fast Ramadan. Fasting is obligatory for every Muslim. Excuse me. Fasting is not wajib upon the. Fasting is not wajib upon the disbelievers. If he comes to Islam on the second day of Ramadan, the person does not have to make up the days he missed before. It's not wajib upon the young to fast who is not of age. But if it is not an inconvenience on the on the child, then the parents should order him to to do this type of worship. And indeed, the Sahabas used to order the children to fast. Fast. Then when they begin when they begin to cry due to hunger, they would give them toys to play with to get their mind off of fasting until it was time for Maghrib. And this is what I wanted to present from the, the khutbah of the Sheikh, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, and anything that I said that was incorrect for my translation is for myself and the Shaytan. Anything that I said that was correct off is due to Allah. سبحانك اللهم وبيمدي أشهد أن لا إله أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك